This camera right here is the camera that I filmed like 99% of my videos on over the past four years. Like basically every video you've seen on my channel has been filmed on this camera. It's called the Canon 70D. This is what it looks like. I have a second one of them. It's pretty compact, pretty simple. It has the flip out screen, which is perfect for vlogging. It's not too heavy, it's not too light, it's not too fancy, it's not too expensive, it's not too cheap. It's like a C plus all around the board camera. The lens I usually use is the 10 to 18 millimeter lens, which looks like this. That's the lens I'm filming on right now. I once again have two of them. Sort of looks like that when you put it on. It's, it's a solid camera. It's like the business degree of cameras. It's like the Draymond Green of cameras. It doesn't excel at one thing. Well, I mean, maybe Draymond Green excels at defense, but it's good at everything. It's a solid C plus or B on every category. That is the Canon 70D. I got an upgrade to the Canon 70D though. It is this right here, the Sony a7 III. This is a brand new camera. This is state of the line, top of the art. That's how it goes, right? It's a really good camera, like a really, really good camera, especially for video, which is obviously what I'm gonna be using it for. I mean, we talked about this already. Yes, it is an expensive camera. It does cost a lot of money. And lots of people are saying, Tom, it's not really worth it. We don't watch your videos for the image quality. I completely get that. But if I wanna be doing video professionally, this is gonna up the quality of it for sure. I got the kit, so it came with a lens too. This is the 28 to 70 millimeter lens. These are, this is a pretty basic lens. This is not a basic camera. 120 frames per second, S-Log2, S-Log3. The settings on this thing are amazing. The autofocus points on this thing are amazing. You take a $6,000 Canon camera, and this thing has 10 times as many autofocus points as a $6,000 Canon camera. It's crazy. So the video on this camera is just undeniably better, crisper. The colors are so much nicer on this camera. But the one problem is I can't figure out how to get this mic right on this camera to work on this camera. So the video looks great, but the audio currently sounds like this. I I'm trying to get that figured out. In other news, I was just so excited to use this camera and I didn't have anything exciting to film. So I did a short little movie of me cooking chicken. It looks weird and it's a boring video, but the visuals are amazing. What's up, Par? What's up, man? How you doing? Great. You wanna see someone sick? Sure. These are pretty awesome. Right? I really, really like them. I'm surprised that nobody was there to buy them. Like, yeah, there was whoa, two other people besides me. And they're probably still sitting there. I honestly sort of wanna go see if they're still sitting there. This feels pretty good. It feels really good. It's really windy outside right now, so I'm not sure how well you can hear me. But this new camera is really awesome. I just need a wide angle lens for it. So we're going to the camera store right now to get a wide angle lens for it. Sounds good? Oh yeah. yeah. All right, so here we ended up with the new 
lens. This is the Mark Zeiss 16 to 35 millimeter. This is a really, really good lens. Uh, Jacob Star shoots on Zeiss lenses, so I mean, I'm not the photographer he is, except now I have the same lens that he does, and I'm super excited to use this. The lens that I'm filming with right now is a 28 to 70 lens, so it's it's pretty versatile. You could get sort of vlogging type shots, and you could also get more B-roll and zoom in on some stuff. This is a 16 to 35 lens, which means the 16 millimeters is basically just how far out you can zoom. So this is a pretty wide lens. You could fit a lot of stuff in it. It was expensive. It was $1,700 after tax. It was probably around $1,850, and then I spent another $110 on this UV filter for it, which like this is, oh my goodness. I don't know how much it actually cost them to manufacture these. I don't know how much it actually cost them to manufacture these things, but I paid $110 plus tax for this piece of glass. Literally, that's it. Paid $110 plus tax for this piece of glass. It's like $124 for this. That is insane, but you need it because if you scratch your lens, you're sort of screwed. So I will spend the money and continue to complain. This is what the 18, or sorry, the 28 to 70 looks like. And this is what the 16 to 35 looks like. Considerably wider, considerably more zoomed out. It just fits a much better image. If I were to hold the camera and sort of talk to you guys, you can see a lot more than you could previously on the 28 to 70, which I definitely appreciate. This is almost exactly like what I was filming with originally on the Canon 70D to the 10 to 18. That's not a full frame camera, that's a crop sensor. So it just sort of zooms everything in a little bit more. A 10 millimeter on this would look like a fisheye. It's, it's hard to explain. If you don't know about cameras, you have no idea what I'm talking about. If you do know about cameras, you probably understand what I'm talking about. This is a sick lens. I'm very excited to use this. That being said, I'm, I'm still curious about those Katrina 3s. So I think we're gonna head over to Livestock right now. Um, yeah, so there's, there's no Katrina 3 sitting here. This is really, really weird. I, I was one of three people that bought these on release day, at least when the store opened. So I would have thought there'd be like tons sitting here. Not the case. I mean, there's, I, whoa. There's no Jordan sitting here at all. Anywhere, I just noticed that. There's actually no Jordan. What in the world? There's Nike Sportswear, there's New Balance, there's Adidas. By the way, these Alexander Wangs. I know these are like crazy and out there, except I think something about these just looks so dope. What do you think about these? I like these laces, man. Wang's doing a good job. Wang's doing a good job. It's a classic model, I don't know. I wouldn't really wear it because I'm not a gangster or I'm not a 15 year old girl, so. Are those the only people that can wear all white Air Force Ones, gangsters and 15 year old girls? Only people I've seen wearing them, so. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. It would go well with this beautiful jersey, by the way, they're gonna win. This is not a Rondo jersey. This is a Partap jersey, signed by Jason Terry. That's pretty chill. Kind of on the team. So that's actually sort of crazy that they don't have that here. But, I mean, what can you do, right? I, I got the pair, so I don't even know why I'm surprised or complaining. They, they do not have the Katrina Jordan 3s here, in fact. That being said, love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate you guys. Let me know what you think of the new lens. I think it looks freaking smexy. I really enjoy it. It looks amazing. And I'll be using it pretty much now till the end of time, at least for the shots of me filming. I might get a sick lens for some B-roll and some photography. We shall see, we shall see. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And until next time, peace. And I'm not gonna smash the lens this time because it's brand new and I don't wanna get my hand grease all over it because I just spent like $1,800 on it. So, peace. <laughs>